This is just preparation for when you go to a higher level of education. And it's like, well, what about us that want to do something different? It's like, oh, you, you sure you want to do that? <laughs> like, man, am I going to college to get a degree that's going to take me four years and it's going to cost me $80,000 when I really could have just spent eight months getting a certificate mm -hmm. that would put me in the same position? Of it. So that's that's something that people would really got to take into consideration when you're talking about the next four, six, eight, ten years mm -hmm. of your life, man. It's it's a big deal. I agree. It's a big deal. Some some fields and stuff require, you know, most fields and stuff is like six years minimum, and so that yeah. that's all that you know pretty much need. But some require even more than that, and you got to say to yourself, do you have the skills and abilities to reach? Uh, uh, that amount of income or more that you think you're going to be getting out of college like because you're going to be that's six yeah. years of college now a lot of people they work you know, yeah. you know while they're in school but that makes it even more difficult you got to be a special type of person to work and go to school you know you got to be very disciplined yeah. uh, not a lot of kids a lot of kids mess up and actually do you know yeah. go have a job and they mess up their grades and you know yeah. end up um uh, having to, you know, go quit school or stuff, you know, because they can't do it. Yeah. But uh, you got to, like, that's six years of stuff taken up that, like you said, the time you can put into a business. Um, you can go out and work and stuff, you know, and build money right now to feed into that business, especially if you live with your parents. If you're living with your parents, too, and they're not charging, you don't have to, no bills or nothing, oh, my. Man. Oh, my. You know, you're in, you know, you're in a prime position and stuff, you know, to really set yourself up, especially for your thirties, you know, um, Man. you know, so like I say, you know, it's, you just gotta really be smart, you know, not to say we're not, you know, saying stuff that you can't make it. It's just, absolutely, you gotta be very, very smart because, um, it, it's, it's tough out here with the job market, you know, uh, with new technology coming on the horizon, you know, with AI, it's, it's making it, harder and harder for you to really succeed and stuff you know in that career yeah you know yeah. the traditional route it just doesn't it's not feasible yeah and it's really technology has enabled this this change yes. in the system yes yeah. and and it's funny so you know i'm working at U of L. I was working on this grant right and the grant has it's an eda grant it has to deal with the um the workforce development more specifically the manufacturing workforce development mm -hmm. in the Kentucky region and you know we was going through some of the stuff and like that the, the local companies especially the growing manufacturing companies mm -hmm. and matter of fact even more specific than that there's a local battery plant that's going to be uh, coming on the scene soon they're already mm -hmm. getting the facility built out and they were talking about the workforce development that they needed everybody's talking about work shortages workforce yeah. shortages right but they were saying we don't necessarily need more engineers like we don't need a bunch of engineers you know we just need a handful they said we need what was the number like fifteen thousand, like technicians like people that know how to, to fix the robots that are not yep. operating these lines yep. and you don't need a degree to do that and yep. they're paying pretty decent money yep. in some case a lot of cases more money than people coming out with an engineering degree are making mm -hmm. which is kind of sad but it's this things like that that we have to take into account. Like uh, the money is not the end all be all, but it's a resource, it's a tool to help provide you and create more time in your life, mm -hmm. right? And so, just keeping that definition in mind going into school, it's like time versus money, money versus time, and then also the value that you're adding. Some of these degrees nowadays, man, like the value that you add is, so, especially if it's if it's like if it's and these kid like the, these young adults they're hopping in these um fields where it's highly competitive Man. and it don't pay much to begin with you know and it's all about um oh, i want to do you know 
uh, something that I, you know, want to do and stuff, you know, like I, I want to do something that I'm passionate about. And that's cool. Yeah. But you also got to be realistic and stuff, you know, and logical. Like, we're all for doing what you're passionate about, you yeah, know. for sure. Uh, going for, for your purpose, what you feel and stuff, you know, you're called to do. But you also got to be logical and stuff. Like, is it going to uh, make money and stuff, you know, sustain you? Because there's also another thing as you come out of school, you know, we know they pause on interest like they don't start charging you interest until um i believe it's six months out from um um after you get done with school yeah yeah six months so a lot of times what happens is a lot of young adults are they're getting into these jobs and they they're barely taking care of the, so it's uh, so they get out into the, to these jobs and they're barely taking care of themselves. Now, it's different if you're living with your parents. If you're able to come out of college and go right back to your parents, do it. Like, that's that's the best route, you know. But if you, you know, have to take care of yourself, you know, not only that, you know, the salary that you're making and stuff, you know, it, it got to support you, you know, hopefully not like kids and stuff, you know, because mm -hmm. being you really in a situation but it also gets to pay off your student loans like that's the thing that's what gets a lot of that's why you start hearing these figures um two hundred thousand yeah. dollars in debt three hundred dollars there wasn't two hundred thousand dollars in debt you know three hundred thousand from school just a lot that's a lot right. a lot of that's entrance like that's yes. that's that's what it is um you know that because they wasn't able to pay when they got out of school and their college system knows this they know that that's why they do. That's why they're like, okay, we'll pause it and stuff. We'll wait because they know and stuff, you know, yeah. unless you were in like one of these STEM fields and stuff, or maybe in school, you was already getting set up and, you know, with a company and stuff. And they're saying, hey, we're going right. to give you this amount, X amount of dollars. You're going to be having a hard time um, not only taking care of yourself, but also paying off that loan. And it's a trap. It trap especially nowadays because mm -hmm. i will say the way the system is set up i can see how it worked 30 40 years ago mm -hmm. you know you go to school you come out with this degree this piece of paper that certifies you and so when businesses are looking for somebody with expertise and they they come across your name and say oh they're certified mm -hmm. i'm gonna let them i'm gonna hire them and they'll work here for the next 40 years mm -hmm. that was that's what they call job security. Yeah. You get locked in, company, they pay you good, get your 401k, yep. you locked in, you good. But nowadays, how fast things are changing yeah. with the technology, the AI, the chat, GPT, stuff like that that's been embedded. Like I said before, it's like everybody is now replaceable. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's gonna get to a point where like CEOs can be replaced, like, like that. Yep. And so thinking about that, it. You have to ask the question, okay, then what is college really good for? Ooh, yeah, you can, okay, education, you could say that. How many ways to get educated now? <laughs> it's insane. Countless, infinite ways nowadays. Literally, instead of spending four hours on social media, if you just spend four hours learning from the internet, mm -hmm. there's no telling what you could do. I don't, like there's sacrifices on both ends you know i just think at the end of the day it has to be going back to the beginning it's like don't let other people pressure you into doing something you feel is not right for your life you know because if you feel like you're supposed to go get a job that's pertaining you know to engineering or you know science medical field and the only logical way to do that is through college and by all means, but set mm -hmm. yourself up for that. Yeah. You know, get a scholarship. Yeah. Don't go out and just take out a loan only to get halfway through school and be like, ah, oh, you know what? I changed my mind. Mm -hmm. You change your mind. You're halfway there. You change your mind. All that money, all that time you just wasted. Mm -hmm. and so it's like definitely if you want to go to school, like if you really want to, not for the parties and stuff, but mm -hmm. to actually get educated, build your network, work towards a larger goal, you need to have a plan in place. Mm -hmm. You need to sit down and do the do the dollar signs, calculate the cost. Do the time cost and make sure that, that you are going through your list of things you want to get out of college, the people you want to meet, the network you want to build. Mm -hmm. Put yourself in position to execute those things because otherwise, why would you go to college, man? Yeah. It was just a waste of time and money. And that, that's really the message that, that needs to be pushed yeah, that's it. nowadays. I'm not saying college is bad. That's not what we're saying. We're not saying yeah. like college is evil and wicked. 
No, we're just saying if it's not thought through and planned, it's a mistake. Yep. And that's it. That's all we're trying to say and stuff. You know, it's just like, like you said and stuff, you know, you got to weigh the cost and stuff, you know, and does it make sense for you? Don't look at your friends and stuff, you know, don't look at what they're doing. Don't look, don't let family members yep. tell you what they think is best. Really sit down, think, you know, um, you know, I personally try to pray on different things, you know, Absolutely. and look out like you know try to find is it best for you you know because if it's not don't do it you know don't don't fall for the trap because there's a lot of people and stuff you know if they was true with themselves and true with you and stuff um they would tell you that it was one of the biggest mistakes in their life yeah know? if they were real you know and it's funny the way they word it if you read between the lines you pick up like that mm -hmm. you went to school for four years you know, and you went back for two more years, you got yourself an NBA, but yet you're working at a job that you hate, you're not making the amount of money you want to make. And now you have to find other ways that have nothing to do with the, the degree you got to make money and generate income. Yeah. It's like now you're trying to run to catch up with yourself. Yeah. It's just like, it's sad. It's just something that I don't want to see more people, more young people, especially young black people go through because mm -hmm. it's avoidable. It really is. It's just yeah. say no. Yep, say no. Simple, not easy. It's not easy.